What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is Joshua Daniel George a social media marketer and online coach and in this video you can watch me do live outreach for my social media marketing agency using freelancer websites no, I don't waste no time. Okay guys and welcome back to the video. So like I said in the introduction, today we're going to be doing live outreach for my agency by using uh, freelancer websites. Now quick uh, disclaimer, I don't actually use freelancer websites anymore. This video is for educational purposes only. I will be submitting proposals on these freelance websites. However, um, the methods that we use for our agency are currently email outreach. Why? Because we've automated this in such a way that makes it very easy uh, for us to scale and to reach out to a lot of businesses and we also have a Facebook ad running for our agency and one of the like the third method that we use for getting clients for our agency is the referral method so what we've been doing lately is basically building up partnerships with other types of businesses uh, we offer a white label service as well for our agency um, so basically for other agencies that don't want to actually do the, the ads or can't get the results uh, we basically come in as like a white label service and uh, we help those businesses uh, basically get the results for their agency clients um, and yeah like I said apart from that we've got a few other little collaborations going with uh, web development companies etc just you know if we get a client that needs a website we refer them on and vice versa if a website development agency um, gets a client that needs Facebook ads they refer that on to us as well just little collaborations like that uh, but today we're actually going to be using a, a freelancer platform called Upwork and the reason why I'm using Upwork uh, for this video is because that is basically what helped me get my big break uh, with social media marketing so um, I didn't get my first client through Upwork but my first like few like multiple clients uh, with through Upwork and I actually hit six figure status uh, with Upwork uh, back in the day I was actually uh, working together with another YouTuber slash social media marketer called Bradley Riley um, highly recommend you check out his channel um, on YouTube as well um, he's got a lot of good content but like I said I was working together with him at the time he was basically um, like we ran brand Paneer, the agency together at the time and uh, we used Upwork as our main method of outreach we got it to a point where we did automate it so we had basically people uh, sending proposals on our behalf etc but anyway um like i said i've had a lot of good luck with upwork um, it has been my go-to freelancer platform we've tried out every single platform known to man and that still is uh, the best it is getting a bit more saturated now but you know there's a reason for that it's because there's so many people offering or requiring facebook ad services on the platform and that is why it's uh, it's a good platform to start off with so the first thing we need is obviously the upwork account i'm going to assume that you guys already have that if not i highly recommend you guys check out my free course it's a social media marketing beginner course like i said completely free no strings attached all you need to do is request access to my free uh, my facebook group again free facebook group uh, request access to that um, once you're in the, the free Facebook group, one of the three sort of welcome gifts is the free beginner course and that basically walks you through how to um, you know, get onto this freelancer platform, how to um, send proposals, etc. But like I said, what we do need is a proposal. So that is what one thing we do actually need to get started is a proposal and that is what we send to our potential you know, clients. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly get up up here just to show you guys what the platform looks like. So this is um, basically the inside of Upwork. Um, this is my profile. So we just quickly click on that. As you can see, this is what my profile looks like. It's pretty standard. I haven't put on, uh, too much time into it. Um, as you can see, obsessed with scaling e-com brands to the moon. Why? Because I'm very much focused on e-com rather than uh, just like general you know, clients. We do try and focus on just that one thing um, you've got your work history, we've created like a little portfolio, this is from a few years ago actually when we were offering social media management as well. Um, I don't even know what this is, I think this is new, like I said I don't really go onto this platform anymore, um, employment history and so on and so forth. So anyway, so this is basically my profile on Upwork and if we click on the, the Upwork icon or if we just go to this tab and click back onto this tab, um, this is basically the feed. So this is the feed of basically businesses 
that require a social media marketing service or to be fair any service in general um, they can create a job post which you can also do so this is my freelancer uh, account then you also have an agency account or a client account uh, what it's basically what it's called on Upwork and uh, then I can actually submit you know um, job posts etc but now but on the other end of the spectrum we are actually applying for jobs so as you can see here on the feed we've got all these different kinds of jobs and now we can basically search for keywords that um, you know, clients could use to basically you know, offer a job. So, for example, if you want um, anything to do with LinkedIn data scraping, then you can type in LinkedIn data scraping uh, as a job and see what jobs come up. Um, then, when we click on a job, so for example, if we click on marketing associate and click on that, we can see the entire job post. We can read through it. This person needs three hires, uh, hire three freelancers. He's got a couple of questions that he does want to ask us. Um, there's an hourly rate. As you can see, it's an entry-level job, so it's fairly easy. Uh, the project will be for more than six months, so if you do want to be a marketing associate, um, you basically lock, like you basically got a client for six months there, uh, less than thirty hours a week, which means that you know it's not going to take up a lot of the time. Just some skills and expertise needed, and um, client's recent history. Why is that relevant? Just so that you can see how long the client's been on the platform. If, for example, you can see that the client gives a lot of five-star ratings and reviews, then you know, okay, this client is um, fairly lenient you know he's, he's not going to be overly strict and negative etc and um, which is something that at the time i did really really look at because you give the client feedback but the client also gives you feedback as well and if the client gives you let's say two out of five stars for a job that you did then all the potential clients can see that and see that your job success score has gone down or has uh, decreased because of that, and they are less likely to take you on as a um, basically, you know, as a as a freelancer. So if this sounds like a job that we could do, we click on submit a proposal. I'm not applying for this job by the way because like I said, I don't even know what it's about. Haven't read through it at all. Um, and then as you can see, this proposal requires six connects. So when you apply for a job on Upwork, um, you need to spend connects, which is basically the currency of Upwork. Um, like I said, I haven't been on this platform in a while, so I've got 176 connects. I think it refreshes every single month. Um, back in the day, the good old days, I think it was one or two connects per job, and you got like 30 connects a month or something like that. Um, it has changed over time. So as you can see, this requires six connects. And I've got 176 connects. I don't know. I don't really know anymore how this works. I think you still get. Um, actually, I think I still pay for this. I think it's like a ten in a month, and um, I think I get like 30 connects a month or something like that. Um, but like I said, if you know this sounds like your cup of tea, you want to do it. There's uh, the cover letter, which is basically your like uh, almost your you know proposal that you send to the client, and then there's a couple of questions that we can just quickly answer, and then if you've got like a portfolio or anything like that, we can upload that here. So the first thing we need is a cover letter. So that's the first thing we are going to do. Um, you know, I'm going to basically give you guys a brief example of what I would say, um, but do not use this one. Why? Because people can tell that you just copy and paste them. Um, you know, other things, let's say, because obviously, you know, my channel does get a decent amount of views, um, a couple hundred views a video, which uh, for some may not be a lot, but because we're in such a specific niche, you know, if I upload a video with a certain template or proposal, everyone start using it, it's going to be bang on that. You know, everyone's watched this video. So um, use this template that I'm going to type out now as an example, and then just create your own based on your own services niche and uh, and so on and so forth, okay? So the first thing I like to do when I create a proposal is have a headline. So when you, um, and the reason for this is because I also am a client on Upwork, so I also look for people on Upwork, and when people apply for jobs, it's almost like an inbox, right? And you just see the first sentence, and based on that first sentence, you know, I basically either click on it or I just move on. And that first sentence really needs to grab attention of the person that, um, you know, in this case of the client that is wanting a freelancer to take on this job. So headline, then brief explanation of what I can do and what I can offer. And then um, I basically have a call to action to book a call or anything like that. Now, with that said, um, I am very much um, you know, of the opinion that you need to position yourself as an expert, position yourself as an agency, use we instead of I, and so on and so forth. 
However, with Upwork, usually they don't really want an agency, they just want a freelancer. So you do need to sort of tailor your proposal to that, okay? So sort of play the field a bit. Um, you know, we need to sort of play the game here. And then as soon as you draw the attention, you know, it's a right fit according to them, you can get them on a call. And then you can position yourself as an expert and mention that you are an agency and so on and so forth. Okay, so that is just something that you do need to take into consideration. So like I said, we need a Upwork um, proposal or you know resume if you will so the first sentence could be something like um, I don't know um, sounds like an interesting job I can definitely do this or sounds like a perfect um, fit for me it could be something like um, I'd love to take this off your hands okay so that could be like the, the headline that'll be the first sentence that they see okay and then from there you basically just write out your resume so uh, hi my name is joshua daniel george um, your job post looks good i would love to speak to you some more about this and see if we are a good fit to work together on this particular project also apologies for if my screen is a little small i've got a wide screen now and i'm still figuring out the settings especially when recording videos um you know it, it's still something that I'm, I'm sorting out so apologies if this is really small and distorted um i'm trying to figure out you know how i can basically get this because my screen is absolutely enormous and uh, obviously when I'm recording videos etc it just goes back to 1920 by 1080 so uh, apologies in advance but um yeah so like i said your job post looks good i would love to speak to you some more about this and see if you are a good fit to work together on this particular project you are looking for an expert um that can create highly profitable e-commerce campaigns for your store and as you can see i'm already in the proposal even though it's fairly generic i am going specific because those are the jobs that i apply for so you're looking for an expert that can create highly profitable e-commerce campaigns for your store and get you that or get you the desired uh, ROAS slash return uh, slash return on investment so return on spend slash return on investment um what else can we say something like before I start working with anyone, 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 apologies. Um, I like to discuss the project more to figure out if we are a good fit to work together. You can view my portfolio here. Um, actually, no, let's just remove that. Don't want to uh, what i'll do is i'll add the portfolio as an attachment um, i look forward to your reply kind regards joshua daniel george okay it's not my best work it's fairly short but just to give you guys a rough idea of what you could say okay so what we'll do is we'll just pick one of the three um i'll just pick the top one for now just again just for the speed of things so hi my name is joshua daniel george your job post looks good we'd love to speak some more about this and see if we are a good fit to work together on this particular project you're looking for an expert that can create highly profitable e-com campaigns for your store and get you the desired roas slash roi period before i start working with anyone i like to discuss the project more to figure out if we are a good fit to work together um i only take on projects i know i can get results for okay so just basically that they know that you know i would not take on this project if i'm not confident that i can get the results okay so that will be our job post so i'll just quickly remove this because we're not going to be submitting a proposal for marketing associates but now we can start applying for jobs so what we can type in is e-commerce see what comes up we're just waiting for that to load so copywriting for an apparel e-commerce WooCommerce vendor, shipping expert, agency needed, assistant, product manager, developer. Okay, so we need to get a bit more specific because as you can see, this is fairly broad still. So what we can do is e-commerce and Facebook ads. 
And what I've done here is I've basically added and in capital letters, why? So it basically makes two keywords out of that search. So e-commerce is one keyword, Facebook has another keyword, and and is basically, you know, um, a way of, you know, attaching those keywords together. So as you can see, the top one is a job that I have applied for. Um, have I applied for this job? Well, it might, might have been one of our assistants. Actually, no, no, I've, I've applied for this job myself. I can recognize this. Um, so this was a job I was invited to and I've already applied for this job. So as you see here, it says applied. And the good thing about this is if you're going down the pages, um, you will then see this one as a job you've already applied to and then you sort of know where you left off. So every single day you can go into Upwork, apply for the jobs that have come, you know, the new jobs basically that I've, I've, I've you know, been or I've arrived on Upwork. And then as soon as you see the apply job, you know, okay, that is where I left off last time. Um, like I said, I haven't been through these just yet, so we can do, we can still go through them now, but this is a job that I was invited to. So um, as you see, graph designer for e-commerce store, still not really what we want. Looking for a graph design that can make eye-catching creators for Facebook ads. Okay, so that is the reason why um, I can see that as the keyword that we used. Full digital marketing service freelancers need to join my team. Um, let's see, less than 10 hours a week, zero spend. Where is the budget available? Doesn't really say. So what we'll do is we'll add a filter. And then what we want is we want only expert level jobs. Why? Those are the jobs that pay a bit better and that, you know, basically people that are a bit more serious about what and results. I want uh, a budget of 5K and 1 to 5K. And then we'll also do 500 to 1K just to see what kind of jobs come up. Close the filter here. And then we've got Facebook ads, Ecom media buyer wanted. Okay, we'll open that up in a new tab. Facebook pixel issue for Ecom store is not something that I want to do. Looking for Google Ads Freelancer, nothing that I want to do. Facebook and Instagram Guru needed. Sounds interesting, we can open that a new tab. Growth Hacker, no. Virtual Assistant, no. Senior Google Media Buyer, no. Social Media Marketing, I'm looking for a smart, active person who can manage my social media channels, such as YouTube, no. Um, let's see, Facebook Ads Expert needed, I've already applied for that. Facebook Instagram Ads Manager, yeah, sure, why not. Facebook Ads Expert, Looking for SEO specialist, no. Facebook marketing campaign manager, no. Um, let's see, social media manager needed. I'm seeing a lot of applied here, so I think maybe one of our assistants has already been through these, um, but still, I'll just go through these anyway. Arab digital marketing specialist for an e comm site that sells supplements, personal care, cosmetics um, in the GCC region. Candidate must be Arab. Okay, well, that's not me, unfortunately. All in marketing agencies are the ones launched 3D printed glasses for oxygen users. Um, interesting, let's just open that a new tab. Facebook ads, expert for e commerce dropshipping. Sure, why not? Um, applied for social media ads. Wanting want to make Facebook ads on Facebook and IG so I can increase sales. Looking for social media professionals. Uh, I'll rate five to seven dollars. No, thank you. Um, Add expert for two Shopify stores, driving traffic plus sales. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, Google Play promotion, no. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just finish off this page and then we'll start applying for these jobs. Social media marketing. I'm looking for a Facebook marketer with a wide experience in Oro mooting products worldwide. The payment wouldn't be a fixed salary, but a percentage, no. Facebook ads expert, we are... Okay, okay, so that's an agency, so we don't really want to do work with that. Um, we do actually offer a white label service, but it's you know, there are certain uh, requirements that we basically you know demand before we just take on uh, someone's client. Digital marketing expert, yeah, sure, why not? Um, okay, let's see, is there anything else? Partner wanted, no. Social media marketing, no. Content marketing, no. Econ media buyer. Yeah, okay, so that's enough for now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so let's see what this is. So this is a Facebook ad e-commerce media buyer wanted from Australia, setting up look like audience retargets and a cold interest target and testing multiple audience. A hair product that retails 25 USD to 50 USD. Um, starting budget 100 a day. Looking to scale once we hit 1.7 ROAS. Okay, so that means that they've got a fairly high profit margin, more than 50%. Um, looking to get a CPA between 10 and 25 with a 2 plus ROAS, um, GOs, Australia, US, and Canada. Pixels are set up, which is great. Double check everything. We want to scale our USA store first. 
Okay, that sounds interesting. They've got three uh, questions. Ecom Facebook ad experience. Have you managed beauty brands before? Yes, we have. How quickly can you get started? Okay, so we'll submit a proposal. We'll get our copy and paste um, proposal ready. Is this the job? Yeah, it is. Okay, so cover letter. By the way, all this is a placeholder. I do not mess with this. I just leave it as is. And then when I get the clients on an actual call, I explain that we don't actually use um, the hourly rate, but we just go for fixed retainer. So our cover letter, make sure there's no spelling mistakes. So we add a little dash there. Hi, comma, I'm guessing. There we go. So what we can now do, and this is a little life hack uh, from me, is we tailor the headline towards the job. So Facebook ads ecom media buyer wanted. So Facebook ads media buyer wanted. Sounds like an interesting dog job. I can definitely do this. And that is basically how I tailor the, the headline of the cover letter towards the job. So what ecom ad experience do you have? And now we can basically, you know, um, start to position ourselves as the expert. And also by filling out these questions, they are sort of qualifying us as an interested candidate. But like I said, it's also a way for us to um, show a bit of our personality and also show a bit of our results, right? Um, and basically show these people that we are a better candidate than all these other freelancers um, that are basically you know, trying to apply for this job. Now, one thing that I do have that a lot of these other candidates probably won't have is the actual results to back it up. So the majority of people on Upwork are fairly beginners. So I am basically coming in as an expert with you know, already a myriad of uh, results, etc. So that is basically what I want to now show these people that I've got the results to back it up and I can actually get the results that they want. So what we can now do is uh, just basically mention that we've got the experience needed. So I started, um, I started social media marketing in 2016. So that is four years at the time recording this, uh, almost five actually. So what I can say is I have, um, I have over four years of experience with Facebook as using um, using Facebook ads uh, for my personal marketing company and info products um, as well and um, what else can we say um, I practice what I preach and my portfolio shows that C attached. So what we'll now do is just- I just wanna quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. Portfolio, which is this one here. Wait for that to upload. And there we go. So that is basically my way of showing them that I've got more experience than probably most others trying to apply for these jobs. So have you managed any beauty brands before? The strategy will be discussed during the interview. Um, I have worked with multiple beauty brands before. Um, our main expertise is um, e-commerce for uh, fashion <clears throat> and apparel. But we have used similar strategies for the beauty brands we've worked with and gotten similar results. Okay, how quickly can you get started? Um, again, this is where I try and position myself as a bit of an expert. So what I'll say is basically the same as what I'll say in the job post. So I'll do that, just copy and paste this for ease. Um, and that is it, submit a proposal and done. And then we basically just wait for this client to come back to us and um, we can then get them on a course. What I'll do is um, as soon as he replies, I'll send him a calendar invite 
get him on a call, mention, you know, basically position myself a bit more as the expert because now I am coming in as a freelancer and uh, explain how we work and so on and so forth. So we can now click away this one. Uh, we can click away the news feed just to make up a bit more space and see what this is all about. I sell gifts on Amazon USA. Ah, okay. Um, unless they do on Facebook. Looking for Facebook and Instagram advertising guru with proven track record for ongoing advertising management. Um, wine tumbler, foil cutter for wine bottles, two wine stoppers. Hmm. To be fair, I don't really like the look of this job. It doesn't sound like someone that has got a big budget, so I might just leave this one for now. Um, let's see what this is. Okay, so no candidates will be considered without demonstrated media buying experience in Facebook Ads Manager at spend level over 20k a month. Okay, that's something that we can do. Small e-com boutique agency. Uh, okay, so this is an agency. This is not actually a store. So unfortunately, we cannot apply for this job. Um, Matt, let's see what this is. Facebook ad expert for e-com. Manage and monitor ad account performance. Drive traffic. Provide with suggestions. Okay, that's fine. We just apply for this one. Hong Kong. Okay, interesting. Um, okay, six connects. We've still got 170 left. That's fine. So cover letter is this one here. This person hasn't actually got any questions. So that is a fairly quick... Um, Proposal. I'll just copy and paste this so I don't need to keep make, making those changes. There we go. Um, so again, let's just quickly tailor that headline. Facebook ad expert for e-com. So what we can even do, just copy that. Needed. Sounds like an interesting job. I can definitely do this. Submit. I actually forgot to attach my portfolio to that one. So I'm guessing this person probably will not get back to me. Um, because it's a fairly standard, you know, cover letter and without the uh, attachment. Um, is there a way for us to still edit this? Um, oh, actually, we can withdraw withdraw proposal. Um, let's see. No, we can't. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll just leave it at that for now and just consider that a lost proposal. You never know. You, you might still get back to us. We have a budget available of 10 to 15K. Is that per month? Because that'll be great. We will want to launch the product in the beginning of November. Okay, that's in a month. And count on your support for around three months, possibly extended afterwards. Please do not contact us if you only want to do one task of the list above. We want a holistic, all-in approach. Okay, so what are the tasks? Help us set up a buyer persona, a customer journey, and find out everything about our target audience. Yeah, that's something that we can do. Optimize our landing page, but also our website in general. And then you've got the website here. Set up a marked and funnel that converts. Let's actually look at their website to see what it's about. So copy this, um, open a new tab and paste. See what this is about, aspiro.b. Um, set up a marketing funnel, yes, that's sort of thing that we can do. Help us determine what apps, tools, and software we need. We can do that as well. Set up our campaigns and test them. Find us for our tailored, ooh, they also mentioned Google. So I will need to say that we only offer Facebook ads. For all the campaigns, A-B test, yes, that's something that we do. Use A-B test to optimize campaigns. That's something that we do as well. We want to build, measure, and learn. Hashtag the lean startup, okay? Uh, let's see. This is actually in Dutch. Is this client from the Netherlands? No, Belgium. Okay, they speak Dutch in Belgium as well. Um, they call it Flemish. But, um, ah, I've only just seen that. So it's actually provides them with auction as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Make auction therapy less visible. That's interesting. Okay, so we are now about to launch this product in Belgium and the Netherlands. It's very specific target market. Age is 62, low pages and power and suffering. Um, okay, from a respiratory disease. Now, this is definitely a challenge. We are looking for a marketing agency that can help us launch this product. Ah, we can mention that we are an agency. Okay, so let's submit a proposal. If I really want to go the extra mile, I'll probably speak, you know, type it out in Dutch, but just because this is for the video, I'll just uh, leave it in English. So, there we go. That's the cover letter. Um, marketing agency needed... I'll just put marketing AC needed. And then what I'll do, put Dutch. Why? Because we are based in the Netherlands. 
Um, you are looking for an exploit that can create highly profitable. And what I'll do is probably remove ecom, even though it, I think it is ecom. Um, let's see. So as you can see here, they're using WordPress rather than um, Shopify, which is a bit of a shame. They're using WooCommerce. I don't really recommend WooCommerce. I always recommend Shopify, but um, highly profitable campaigns for your Oxy glasses rather than your store. So Oxy glasses and get your desired um, Robust. Before I start working with my lights, this goes to okay, that's fine. Okay, I think other than that, it's it's okay. So we we'll just submit that proposal. Oh, and I forgot the I forgot to apply, apply um, attach the portfolio again. Never mind. Okay, Facebook ads for ecom and drop rate. We'll do these last few, and then we'll probably wrap up this video here. So fixed price eight hundred dollars. Um, Closing in 24 hours. Let's see, what is this? Perfect English is a must. I think that is okay. Apply only if you are confident in, our ability to ex in your ability to execute. You will be interviewed and detailed. Uh, okay. No agencies, just individuals. We need someone at least, uh, okay. Ah, uh, agency. Okay, so it's an agency. Uh, and this is the funny thing, right? Because this used to be me like two years ago. So many agencies out there can't actually get the results for their clients. And yes, you know, I, I understand the whole concept of working on the business, not in the business, but it's now getting to a point where a lot of agencies just become like the middleman and they don't actually know how to get results. Um, and I've seen this more and more and it's a shame it's, it's the way it is. And I'm very much, like I said, you know, I, I understand the whole working on the business, not in the business kind of thing, but like I said, it's now getting to a point, you know, people don't even know how to run Facebook ads and they're running a Facebook ads agency. I'm like, that's, that's you know, clients, we're basically just wasting the client's money, you know, and we're trying to get these outsourcers for very, very cheap from third world countries. Um, and, you know, we don't even know because we don't have the, or, you know, in this case I do, but, you know, because these people, these, these so-called agencies don't have the experience or the knowledge, they don't even know if these freelancers are doing a good job or not. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to be applying for that. And XP for two Shopify stores, driving traffic plus sales, creator of a, the a, of above the average and video content that drives traffic that equates sale on return on ad spend. Um, I like the way they put return on ads, like shortened and then spent like all out. Um, someone who can devote time to both Shopify stores. Yeah, okay, why not? Submit a proposal. So let's copy and paste our little. Job post again, or uh, cover letter. There we go. And then what we'll do is add expert needed for Shopify. Add expert needed for Shopify. Sounds like an interesting job. Okay, Shopify with a capital S. All than that is fine. Um, anything else we need to mention? No, okay, submit proposal. And then we've got two more. Looking for experience, social media expert for two Shopify stores. Please apply only if you have many years of experience. We are not looking for store development. Yeah, sure, why not? From Phoenix in the US. Copy. Okay. And then we need to mention our years of experience with social media marketing. So uh, I have over, what did I say last time? Four years of experience with Facebook and using this for um, my social media marketing agency, as well as my own info products and education business. Info products is not one word. Um, I practice what I preach um, and my portfolio shows that. Please find attached. And then again, this time we will actually attach uh, the portfolio. There we go. Wait for that to load. There we go. Submit a proposal and then move on to the next one. Looking for experienced killer Facebook ads media buyer who's comfortable working with agencies to manage clients. Okay, again, another agency just wanting to outsource. Um, yeah, send over a couple of messages with relevant case studies. We can hop on a call, see if we can work out. 
So yeah, let's just leave it at that, and that is probably the last uh, job post that we'll apply for. And now, like I said, um, as soon as these people reply with a message, I will offer to hop on a quick Zoom call. So I'll send my Calendly link. They can fill out the time that works best for them. We'll hop on the call, and if I think we can get results for them, or if I think they're a right fit, and vice versa, of course, if they are confident in our abilities, which they probably are, you know, judging by the results that we've gotten uh, for our other clients in the past, um, we can then you know start working together. So that is it for today's video. Hope you got some out of this. Hope you um, got a bit more of an understanding of how easy it can be to get clients for your agency, especially when you use freelancer methods like this. Um, if you want to know how to get on the Upwork platform, etc., like I said, I do offer a free beginner course. Um, all you need to do is apply uh, or apply. All you need to do is request access to the free Facebook group, and then the free beginner course is available there. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.